This is the cabin tour of D419 on the Coral Princess. It's a regular balcony cabin. Let's take a look. Here's the main bedroom. Good sized bed. There's enough room to walk in between the bed and the wall. And a desk where I've got a good setup with the computer. And one thing I noticed, there are two electrical outlets at the desk. There's a sliding door that goes out to the balcony. And if you're on a Coral Princess in a balcony cabin, the balcony is probably one of the most important parts. So let's take a look. It's pretty good size. You know, there's plenty of room to stretch out. Now we're in Vancouver and it's a little cool today, so my wife is bundled up, but as you can see, there is plenty of room to stretch out there on the balcony. And the one nice thing about this particular cabin, D419, especially when you're cruising to Alaska, is there's an overhang up there, so you can get protected from the weather a little bit. So there's two chairs and footrests and a little table out there. And let's go back into the room. I guess we'll look at the television setup with remote control and down underneath it is the refrigerator. And then if we go over this way, you'll see on each side of the bed there's a couple of drawers and an additional set of drawers over there by the sliding door. And then we'll go to the dressing area. So there's a full length mirror right there which makes it really easy to see how things have turned out when you're getting dressed. And a dressing area back here, closet, and there are hangers, and inside the cabinet here is the safe, your life jacket storage, and some shelf areas. And then we'll go to the one little problem area. <laughs> this is the bathroom, and the shower is especially small. Compared to some of the cruise ship showers I've been in, this one is about as tiny as they come. There is room for one person, and when you start flailing your arms around, it's pretty cramped in there. And this shower fixture up here, you know, that's that's fixed. It does not, you can't bring it down lower. Uh, a lot of the cruise ships I've been on, it's on an adjustable thing where you can go up or down, set the height for a shorter person, but not on this particular cabin. Then you have uh, shower gel and shampoo slash conditioner provided there. So you don't necessarily have to bring any of your own. And here you have plenty of storage in the bathroom and little trash can under the sink there. And it's all mirrored. Now, let me show you the difference between a regular balcony cabin and a mini suite. My brother has the cabin next door and we have the divider open up and I'm gonna go into his cabin. He's got a mini suite. And this is the main difference here. You have this sitting area by the balcony that has a couch and a little table. And then you also have two TVs. So you have one pointed towards the bed, and then the other TV is pointed over towards the sitting area. Then the other big difference in a mini suite is when you get over here into the bathroom. Closet area is still the same, but when you get into the bathroom, it's a little bit bigger and you have a bathtub. So there's a lot more room when you're standing in the tub taking a shower it is not anywhere near as cramped as on a regular balcony cabin. You still have the same kind of shower head fixture up there, but there's just a lot more room because you have all this area in here in the tub to stand in. Now here's another way for me to show you the difference in size between a mini suite and a regular balcony cabin. If we look down the hallway here, all these cabins down here, down this area of the hallway, are all mini suites. And then here is D1, D419, which is a regular balcony cabin. and this length right here from that corner to the door, that's the extra space you'd have in a mini suite. 